Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming another styling video. I haven't done one of these in a little while. The last one I did was my spring outfits video and I will leave that in the description box for you in case you want to watch that as well. But I thought that things are getting a little bit warmer now. We're sort of transitioning into summer. Um, the weather is glorious at the moment. So if you see me getting a bit hot and flustered then that is why because I'm stuck in my room which is sort of in the roof of our house and it gets so hot. Sorry I keep fiddling with my hair as well. I've been having it up pretty much the whole of like the past two months so I thought I'd make an effort today and curl it and I'm just not used to it anymore. I basically wanted to film another styling video and I asked you guys what you wanted to see over on my Instagram and most of you voted for a denim shorts styling video. So that is what I'm filming today. I have a few pieces here. Move them into shot, there we go. I have a few pieces here um, that I'm gonna style with denim shorts. I have two pairs of shorts to show you. These ones are some Zara mum shorts and these ones are some rebellious um, distressed shorts. So I'm basically gonna show you some daytime and some more evening looks as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so let me just show you the two pairs of shorts I have in a little bit more detail. These ones are the Zara mum shorts that I featured in my latest Zara haul. I think that would have gone up by now. I will also leave that in the description box as well in case you want to see it. But these are basically the Zara Bermuda Fit mum shorts, I think. Um, but obviously everything will be linked in the description box. As always, I wear these in a size 8. And yeah, they're lovely. Just a nice light wash. My favourite sort of wash of denim for this time of year. They do come, as you can see, with the crease rolled up. I've unrolled them because that's just the kind of style that I prefer. These are kind of like what I would call maybe a slightly smarter short. Um, because obviously there's no distressing or anything on them. Um, yeah, and I love them. The second pair of shorts that I have are similar colouring. Um, a nice, again, light wash denim. But as you can see from these, they are distressed at the bottom. Just makes it a little bit different, something a little bit more casual. These are so comfy. They're really thin denim and I actually bought these in a size up than I normally would. Unfortunately, they're not available on the Rebellious website anymore uh, because I got them last year. But they do have a similar pair on there which I'm going to link for you. And any sort of like distressed denim short will work quite well. So those are the two style of shorts that I'm going to be styling up for you today. I did think about including like all types of shorts but then I just thought it's easier to stick to two pairs of shorts that most of you probably already have in your wardrobe and these are my favorite kind of shorts to wear anyway so yeah I have four daytime looks for you and three evening looks so I'm just going to get straight into it with the first outfit I'm going to talk about the items and discuss the outfit on this side and then here you should be able to see the split screen of me wearing the outfit so hopefully that format works okay for you guys so the first outfit is with these rebellious shorts and I thought let's keep it super simple with a nice white shirt this one is from ASOS from Stradivarius, I got it last year. It's no longer available, but Weekday have an almost identical one. So I have linked that for you. Uh, it's just a really nice, thin, slightly oversized shirt. And as you can see underneath, I have just popped my Topshop vest top underneath there. I really like to layer with shirts and vest tops in the summer. I just think it's a really nice idea. I wouldn't always wear a pair of short denim shorts with like a strappy vest top. That's just a little bit too exposed for me. So to cover it up with something really lightweight like a white shirt is perfect. So accessories wise, I thought I would mix it up and pop some black in there. So I've gone for my black slip on loafers. I think these really smarten up the look considering the shirt is quite loose and flowy and the shorts are distressed. And then I've also put my Gucci bag in there as well. I think these two match really nicely and it's nice to add a little bit of black to a neutral outfit as well. You'll probably hear me say this a lot throughout this video, but I love the way that this color denim looks with white and black. As you can see, that's pretty much all I've paired my shorts with, but those are the kind of colours that I love to wear at this time of year. So outfit number two, again, is something pretty relaxed, and I've chose to use the Rebellious shorts again, but this time I've popped them with a nice little black ribbed cami. This one is from Lux to Kill, and I showed this in a recent vlog. Um, it's really nice, just a nice thin material, a v-neck strappy cami top. Um, any sort of like a bodysuit or vest would work the same. And then I have thrown over the top my long cream maxi cardigan from Pretty Little Thing. 
I live in this cardigan. It's an amazing fit, it's an amazing staple item, and it's just something a little bit different to throw on. So again, I've gone for some black accessories and paired my black Gucci bag with this outfit, and also my black flat leather sandals from Zara. These are super comfy, they go with so many things, and I love the square toe on them. They're also real leather, and they were super affordable. I think they were like 20 or 30 pounds. So a great price for leather sandals, and these just make the look super casual and comfy. Again, some more basic items. This time I'm styling up the denim mum shorts from Zara and I've just paired them with the simplest item, a plain white t-shirt. I love this t-shirt. This one is from H&M and it's oversized and it's a little bit thicker than your regular t-shirt. I've chosen to pair the t-shirt with the Zara shorts because I just feel like the clean lines of the crisp t-shirt work really well with the slightly more structured short. You just can't go wrong with an outfit like this. Really casual, really comfy, but still chic. Now this look is super casual as it is, but I've dressed it down even more with my Alexander McQueen trainers. Any sort of chunky trainer would work really well with this look. These ones are one of my favorites. They're so comfortable, really easy to wear, and I think they look great with a simple outfit like this one. As the outfit is so casual, I thought I could get away with a slightly more dressy bag. So this one is my Mulberry Lily, which I wear all the time. I just think it's a nice neutral color to pair with a really simple outfit. So you could even pair this with some simple heels, and I think it would make a really nice evening outfit as well. To be honest, with any of these outfits, you could swap out the sandals for some heels, or the heels for some sandals, Doors. They're all really versatile outfits and can be dressed up and down really easily. Keeping with the Zara shorts, I've now popped them with a black t-shirt. This particular one is from Mango and it has these shoulder pads in it to add a little bit more structure. These t-shirts are everywhere at the moment. They're really on trend, so you'll probably be able to pick one up from somewhere. I just love the way these structured sleeves look with these shorts. I think it's a really cool look. Perfect for the summer. Still a little bit covered up and nice and loose fitting and comfortable. Not too skimpy still nice and chic and on trend. I think this is the perfect sort of outfit for maybe on holiday for like a city break, exploring, something like that. I've also popped on this black ruched bag. It's from Seen On Her. It's a clutch, but it also does have a long strap as well. So you could wear it over your shoulder or cross body. But I really love the way this looks tucked under the arm. You can see I'm holding the shoes here as well. Um, these are some black chunky sandals that I got recently from Boohoo and I love these. They're painted on the top with some buckles and I just think they look really great with this structured t-shirt and shorts. I think it's such a great look all together. Slightly grungy. These sandals are also super comfortable as well. So that is the last daytime outfit I have to show you. Now moving on to evening looks. So for this first look, I've gone for some nice neutral colors. I've chose to pair it with the Rebellious Distress shorts. I just think the less structured, slightly shorter of the two pairs of shorts works better with like the oversized blazer and the skimpy cami look. So that is what I've gone for here. Again, reusing the Topshop white vest. I've just popped over my cream Zara blazer. And as I said earlier, I think all these tones work so nicely together. So I finished off this look with some more neutral accessories. So I've got these gorgeous Zara flip flops. They're just like these white little kitten heeled shoes. And I think they look great with this. And then bag wise, I have a cream version of the black one I showed earlier. And this is just perfect. It matches the neutral tones so well. This is my favorite sort of look for a summer evening. So for the second evening look, I'm actually reusing the white shirt that I showed in the earlier daytime look. This is so versatile. You can dress these up or down so easily. And like I said, I'm using the same short. So I'm just swapping out the loafers for a pair of heels and removing the vest top from the outfit. And I think it works really, really well. I've actually done up the shirt and tucked it in this time. So I would finish off this look with these nude accessories, a nice simple pair of nude mules. These are from Lux to Kill. And then my Mulberry handbag, which is a great evening bag actually. And I wear it all the time. And these two match perfectly together. And again, this is another one of those looks I absolutely love every summer. I re-wear denim shorts and white shirts every single year. And I think I will do for a very long time. Such a classic look and you just can't go wrong. So to finish off, I have one final evening look for you. Now here I just have plain black bodysuit. It's actually one of the halter neck ones from Zara, which I literally live in. And over the top, I've popped my Zara oversized blazer. Now I think these two things together look great with the Zara mum shorts. I do love wearing all black, but it's so nice to pop a little bit of blue denim in there. I think that works really well. To finish off the look, I've gone for these mules from Love Raid. They're just like a gorgeous black peep toe and very, very simple 
and classic. I've also paired a nice gold chunky necklace. That one is from Lux to Kill and it's super affordable and I literally wear it all the time. And then bag wise, again, I have gone for my scene on her ruched clutch bag, which is such a big staple in my wardrobe at the moment. So that is it for my denim shorts styling video. I feel like I rushed through that really quickly. So apologies if it came across that way, but I always struggle with these talking videos because I have so much to say and I just wanna blurt it all out in one go. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't do that and hopefully you have a good few ideas of how to style your denim shorts this summer. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below along with everything I'm wearing and some other previous videos that I may have mentioned in this one. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed. There'll be plenty more summer content coming soon. So I hope you're all staying safe and well and I will see you soon with another video.